Here's the one two pitch to Justin Veely. And Veely pops this one down the right field line. This is going to be a tough play for Vertigan. He's on the run and he can't get to it. It's a fair ball and it bounces into the seats. As uh, now Scott Thomas is coming down. No, he's going to say it was foul. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Even though it bounced in, oh, that's, a that's, that's questionable. A, that's a call fair ball. There. And Scott Thomas, you never see him arguing. He is demonstrative with Brandon Sheeler. And now Jeff Manto, the acting manager tonight for the Ironbirds, comes over and asks for Anthony Perez to come over and help. But I'm not sure Perez is going to be able to see things any better. But this is if this is if they're going to rule this a foul ball, that is going to be a bad break for the Ironbirds, as that one was fair. Let's see Sheeler and Perez talking about it. Now that that was a fair ball. And I think Perez might actually be overruling him here as they're going to come to the Vermont dugout and have a conversation with Lake Monster manager David Newhan. Now this could be interesting. Yeah, seeing what the... Uh... Gonzalez standing at home plate here. Sorry to cut you off there. And now Newhan not very happy. And as from up here, that looked to be... Um, fair. fair. Yeah. Now we we do have the higher vantage point than Sheeler, who's obviously at field level. And Sheeler was about halfway down the first baseline between the home plate and first base. And now Newhand still not very happy, but it appears that they are going to uh, overrule that. Newhand really not happy. And he's letting uh, home plate umpire Brandon Sheeler have it. And now uh, they are going to say. Uh, That Vili does indeed get credited with an RBI ground rule double. So after all of that, Aberdeen up one to nothing. 